Hi! In this lecture, we're going to cover the basic operations with vectors. So what is a vector? A vector is an oriented segment that has magnitude, which is its size and a direction. If you look in the example here, the length of the line shows its magnitude and the arrowhead points in the direction of it. A vector is often written in bold and letters in bold, but it can also be written as letters of its head and tail with an arrow above it. What is a unit vector? Well, a unit vector is a vector that has a magnitude of 1. Uh, we usually use the lowercase letter with a hat above it. To represent the magnitude of a vector, we put the letter in between these two vertical dashes here. So how can we add and subtract vectors? Well, we can add two vectors by joining them head to tail. If you look into this example here, have vector A and vector B. If we join them and trace another vector from A to the head of D of B, we have vector AB, A plus B. Keep in mind that it doesn't matter in which order we add them, we get the same result. Now we can subtract two vectors by reversing the direction of the vector we want to subtract. For example, if we want A minus B, we can reverse vector B and then add them together. The most common way to do these calculations with vectors is by breaking them into x and y parts. For example, we have this vector a here. We can break it down in the x, ax component and ay component. So we can then add and subtract the x and y components of each vector. For example, we have vector a uh, that has 8 in the x direction and 13 in the y direction, and vector b, 26 in the x direction and 7 in the y direction. To add a plus b, we just add 8 plus 26 and 13 plus 7, which give us 34 and 20. To subtract a minus b, we do 8 minus 26, and 13 minus 7. The result is negative 18 and 6. We can also multiply a scalar and the vector. We can multiply a vector by scalar. And when we do it, we change how big or small the vector is. For example, we have vector A, the magnitude is m. If we multiply it by 3, we just multiply the magnitude of the vector by 3. We can also decompose the vector and multiply each term of the vector by the scalar. So we have vector a, 3 and 5. If we want 3a, we just multiply 3 times 3 and then 3 times 5. We multiply each component by 3. And we have a vector 3a of 9 in the x direction and 15 in the y direction. And how do we calculate the magnitude of a vector? Well, we can use the Pythagoras theorem to calculate its magnitude. So if you take a look into this example here, vector a, the x component, y component, we can think as the, in this as a right triangle and applying the Pythagoras theorem to this right triangle we get this formula here to calculate the magnitude of a vector. For example, what is the magnitude of vector b? 6 and 8. Well, we just apply the Pythagoras theorem, that's the square root 
of 6 squared plus 8 squared and it gives us a magnitude of 10. So that's it. Thank you for your attention. Now that you understand the basics, we can cover even more advanced topics. Like this video and let's move on to the next one.